two. This is our new stutter step. It's a top arm lure. Very unique in the shape, if you notice. I mean, I noticed it's that. a walk. It's a, there's a lot of baits out there that walk the dog or whatever you want to call it. But this bait, because of the tail drag and the buoyancy, it will stay in one spot for a real long time. The big thing that most of the, I'd say, seasoned pros are commenting about that have fished with it and seen it and watched the videos is that you can you can work it in an area the size of that square right there so this plays on for a long time. And that's a big deal, you know, staying in the strike zone for fish is just hard that's to exactly. do with a lot of hard baits, a lot of top hard baits without, with, you know, still have action. Right, because you're, you're, you're working them and then you have to pull them in quick and then get them back to the strike zone. Another thing, when you pull this lure, instead of staying like that, it actually has a sideways movement, and that does two things. One is it flashes the side of the bait down, and then it rots itself kind of slowly, so it stays. And that, that side profile, as it turns, is very unique out there. There's a couple other baits that do it, and were designed for that, but most of them have spinners. They turn because the spinners drag on the water, and the bait turns always in the right. Well, this is the first bait of its kind that really does that. Another thing that triggers the strike real good with the stutter step is this tail spits little oh, you know, nice. drops of water each time it goes back and forth. And that's long been a trigger for fish that are feeding on uh, bait, forage fish feeding on fry that will drop its run if you've seen that in the spring. And at other times when fish are feeding, you'll see the little drops of water flying or fish are perch or something are happening. Well, this bait throws an arch from the tail. Most baits in the past, that act, that action or that trigger for uh, the fish comes from a concave popper in the front. It's long been used like with a pop argill magic type bait. Yeah. Um, but this one, it's a different entire way that that is produced. And it, it's an arch and it's half from tail. So it looks like the bait is kind of feeding on the fish a different yeah. way and it's unique. So you get a lot of strike. Is that, so that's a walk the dog. Basically you play I don't like, really like to call it that at all because because if you see it, although it does that, it kind of does it in one spot more. More like a hybrid then. Yeah, and it, it will also do a full, like if you're working this bait towards you, it can be made to go a complete 180. Really? Yeah, you see that in the video right there very clearly. And um, there's not many baits you can work all the way. Um, it's easy to throw, it's a one ounce lure. There's, there's really three distinct retrieves. If you just reel it on a straight retrieve, it has an S swimming action. There's, that's kind of a new thing, and this bait does it very well, and it's very easy to cover a lot of water. It's a good search bait for that reason. And then we call it the namesake action, which is the stutter step, where you kind of act like the walk the dog retrieve, but it has this S motion in between, instead of just a dead straight three like with any other cigar type bait they just come straight at you well this one by itself in between when you're working it and all that it has its own little bait so it's not there's not a lot of dead time between targets and then the uh, the slower retrieve where you you know get the get a lot of water spray and so forth it's on mistake I've had a lot of opportunity to fish with it of course really but um, the actual concept design came from a gentleman in Zimbabwe, Africa. It's a really neat story. He okay. sent us a, a, a mail with a little video that just showed a little piece of what it does. And Wes called me, and I'm a contract engineer for the company and designer, and he said, I'm thinking I'm wanting to do a top order bait. I said, I don't know. I might not recommend a top order bait right now. It's hard to do anything unique right now out there, knowing what's out and all that. And um, he said, well, come over here. It's a two-hour drive from Sam Rayburn to Alexandria, Louisiana, where I was living at the time. And I drove over there. I saw it one time in a swim pool. I said, got to build that. It was very unique. And um, got back in touch with a gentleman from Africa, worked out an agreement with him. And I was kind of man on the ground with Wes. And we worked with some students that are in engineering at Louisiana Tech University that did it, used the... Uh, 3D printing and some of the other things as a senior project 
weather engineering school. And so this is a unique project in the team that worked on it, who came up with it, and everybody that had a hand in it. But it went really well, really quick, and it's, it's getting a really big um, response for the show. It's large, bait moves a lot of water. Feel of that so you, thing and you look fish at it. this, right? Mm -hmm. You fish this. Oh yeah, I've got. There's some. We've got some raw footage that Webb has of he and I fishing with it. Are these weight chambers? They are. Um, that was part of the design so that we would have a lot of flexibility in post mold development. In other words. When we got the bait, we had all of these chambers already in there so we could weight it different ways, okay. put smaller or larger, moving or stationary, and have a lot of flexibility out without having to rebuild them all with a weight chamber just in one spot. In other words, we used a lot of combinations and it found that this particular shot in the rear weight chamber produced the best overall action. There'll be a lot of people who weight this bait in different places that okay. you know more professional full-time fishermen are going to put a little bit of weight in the front because it came down to kind of two or three combinations that worked well and one of them was one weight here and one here but it just had so much more versatility to remove this weight and have that um, kind of flutter. So now it'll be it, yeah, you, you'll have to look at some of the video to really understand yeah, okay. it. But it's a, one of the you'll see a lot of video from this from the show. And boy, Duckett said it best. He says just an engaging bait, very unique, looks different than anything it's probably, else out there. It's probably fun to fish. It's a lot of fun. It's a, that's, that's another thing. It's a lot of fun. That's one of the things too, because you start fishing, you get kind of bored, or it's hot, that's or whatever. Right. That's right. And this is Mark you're, Daniels has said also in the video that you know top water fishing is long driven bass fishing. You know, it's just what you think about aggressive top water strike. And if you got something new to play with and the fish haven't seen the action, you know, it's just all the more fun. All the better, yeah. Awesome. If it's you can take a fishing. take a look yeah. at the colors we got. These are the original colors that we're going to do, and uh, it's also the saltwater version. We're not going to have a particular version that's already set up for saltwater, very strong hook hangers. So the, the hooks are already saltwater hooks? Yeah, they're, get... they're, they're not galvanized, but they're black nickel. They hold up very well in saltwater. Hey, that's cold, so, uh, man. Yeah. You want, we will eventually change some things, maybe, size and whatnot. I don't know exactly what the plans are, but it, it's going to be a, a, a good bait for snow. Is it available now? Shipping mid September for big orders, but yes, it's already been produced. But we're telling you, like, you know, here's the side, the side, the, the droplets that it throws. Yeah, I'm going to Instagram some different. of that. You just won't see that. It's easy to do, very easy. So it's also for a, a novice angler? We don't. Rattle Trap's long been a company that is a chunk and wine retrieve is just fine. And this bait is no exception. I mean, when you get it, throw it, you'll know exactly what to do. I'm recommending it being thrown on the fishing line. It just makes it easier on long cast in part action without having to do a whole lot of work. You can see those droplets? Yeah. That's a, watch it go all the way around 180. And then it's, when it's settling, it's, see that? Now you just don't see that. Man. It's very neat. And you can't do that very many times. And it's nice to keep it right in one area. So if you're pocket fishing, like Okeechobee has a lot of places, it's just a small area you're pitching in, you want to get a lot of action bait, it'll flop around all together right in one spot. That's awesome. It's a neat lure. It'll fill a void in uh, a lot of people's tackle. Oh yeah, something uh, something new, something different, something fun for people to throw. So yeah, awesome. Very interesting, exciting. Yeah, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah I said we got to come See by. There? That's the steady retreat. So it's when you're doing your cast, it's not just coming like a normal like a food with little tops or top water cigar baits. Yeah. When you dead reel them when you're through with your target. You can burn it. it. Oh, you can reel pretty fast and it rod tip up, steady retreat, and you're still providing a lot of action to the lure without just reeling the bait in to cast it in. You're still working bait. And then um, this this is another um, kind of typical retreat. Wes was talking right there about the three major ways we work. 